Hi Early Start fam, Miss Marina here. I'm here today to talk about some fine motor activities with some recycles that you guys might come across at your home. Um, so here I have taken a Parmesan cheese container. Um, I've cleaned it out, dried it out, um, and then I just cut some segments of um, straw. Um, for the segments of straw, you can do as long or as short as you'd like to. Um, and I'm using it as a fine motor activity because I'm opening this other side right here um, where you kind of shake the cheese out of, that's what it's intended for, but it's great for fine motor activities to try to put a segment of straw into the container. And as you can see, you have to use your pincher grasp right there to kind of grab onto it and put it in. And there we can see all the straws that we've got in there. So it's just a really great fine motor activity to practice pincher grasp. And here's another one. It's kind of along the same ideas. And so here I have cleaned out this coffee creamer container. And so it's nice and clean and dry. And so it opens really nicely. It has a little circular opening right there. And so I'm gonna take some cotton balls and most of us have cotton balls in our medicine cabinet or in our bathroom. Um, and so I'm going to use this activity as putting cotton balls in this coffee creamer container. And so I'm using my pincher grasp as well to put these cotton balls in the top of the container. You can also modify it into doing like a counting activity too. So you can count the cotton balls as you put in. Um, clicking the container open and shut could also be another practicing activity. Unscrewing the lid can be kind of like a wrist rotation activity as well. And they're screwing it back on can also be a wrist rotation. So there's a lot of motor activities that go in to um, this recycle activity. And also, if you have pom-poms at home, I have a ton around, you could modify it into colors. So here, it's like I'm finding the purple ones. I'm gonna put the purple ones in. So I'm categorizing the different colors, and so I'm modifying the activity to be color coordinating as well. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys.